welcome family and friends to what else maria loves to talk and what i'm talking about i'm talking about fragrances yes you guys i am back in the saddle i am here to help you just in time for christmas to pick out your little perfumes yes that's right for your family and friends and i have my own picks and selections whatnot i just received my fragrance now order i had ordered this like i didn't think it was gonna be in time i don't know if fragrance net is related to perfume.com or fragrance x or that all three of them are the same but i have a bunch of little samples uh surprises and yes one more true crime story involving perfume so hey you know, guys you know the drill go get you some snacks come on back i will try to make this video not long i'm gonna start with the very first thing here and that's the reason because someone said it reminded them of two lush fragrances and as you see i have some lush fragrances here and i was tempted to buy i think they have two or three more new ones from the holidays i i didn't get them i was so busy trying to order bath and body check out my bath and body and my victoria's secret so let's get into this one so this one this one here is uh and again, like I said, do not be ashamed. Do not be scared. This is Machino 2 Bubblegum. Do not be ashamed to get your look hearted. I remember a time, and I, maybe I'm dating myself, when you would go to um, Macy's, Dillard's, uh, there was another store we would go to, okay, Pally Royals, and there was a, a JCPenney. You would get a couple perfume samples. I don't care if you order from Estee Lauder or you order from Clinique. They will give you samples of other perfume. Now you can't even get these little carded samples. These used to be free. And no, you guys, Sephora is still not giving samples. They're not. My, I sent my niece and then I sent my nephew to try to look up on some. And they both came back saying, oh no. They're saying they're not giving any. They don't have any carded samples. So, okay, so let me stop a yapping. So this one, Machino Toy 2, of course, of course, you know, it's going to be sweet. Why? Because it says bubble gum and it has that pink bubble gum. I already shared spraying on a card, carded sample. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm, yeah, so a card and your skin, it's not going to be the same, people. Okay, back to this. This is a five. Okay, so what, what was it compared to? I read people said it, oh, goodness, this is good. Okay, they compared it to Snow Fairy. Yes, you guys, Snow Fairy. I'm just going to spray a little bit. It, it is similar, very similar. And guess what, you guys? <laughs> Bubble gum is going to be cheaper than Lush. I know this one thing, Lush fragrances, I, they are a bit expensive. They are on the expensive side. Both of these are five, so I'm gonna put that here. And then they also, it was compared to Rose Jam. I think this was the first one I, I picked up because I read, I have kept reading so many good uh, comments about get Rose Jam and I wanted to get it in one of these little spray bottles, but they didn't have it the time that I went. So I just got this one right here. So let me spray Rose Jam. Smells good. Put it on some good old homemade biscuits. <laughs> yes, you guys. It's hard to tell. A five. A five. Yes, it's a five. It also, it also reminds me of um, Bath and Body uh, Raspberry uh, Donut, too, also. So I'm going to put this right here. So while I'm with Lush, let me go ahead and finish up Lush right quick. And then I'll get the rest of my fragrance net. Okay, so my next one here, uh, this is Twilight, just like the movie Twilight that uh, made uh, that Patterson 
actor famous and the lady Kristen Stewart made her famous. Twilight is right for the holidays. What would I give it, you guys? Um, I would give this, to me, I would give it a four. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I'm liking this one. Ooh, wow. Okay, this one, I would give this a three and a half, three and a half or four minus. Let the good times so roll. This is a yes. It's definitely a yes. Absolute Jasmine, Clary Sage, and Yang Yang. Okay, I will spray a little bit here. I would, I would give it a three. You guys, maybe a three minus. It's not giving me the the oompa, the oomp that I want. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys. <laughs> Moving on, Jilted Elf. Just in time for the holidays, you guys. Jilted Elf. Oh, this one is good. And it leans, uh, it has some uh, cinnamon, a little spice. Uh, I would give it a five, maybe a five minus, and it is a little, I won't say strong, but it, it has a, it has some power. It has some strength to it. What is this? I remember this from back in the day when I was a kid. Loves Baby Soft, you guys. That's right. Oldies but goodies. And this is called uh, Rainforest. Someone... I ordered this, I don't remember, I want to say from Amazon, but I was looking at something and a lady said she found uh, hers at Big Lots. And this is green, it's not sweet, and it's not powdery, it's just right. I would give this one definitely a four. This is your rainforest. Loves baby soft, it brought back some good old days, okay. The original Love's Baby Soft, and I used to love the little commercials from back in the day. Love's Baby Soft, you guys. Just like I remember it. You know what? I thought it was, I thought it was more powdery. I'm not smelling any powder. This is a yes, and it is a five. Maybe I'm just thinking about just bringing back old days, old times, I guess. Okay, moving on. Kiehl's Original Musk. I ordered this uh, when I had received a lot of um, skincare, hair care product to me. And I'm not a big musk person, so I'm not going to sit up here and lie, because you already know I told you guys I love sweet, sweet, sweet. That's what I like floral roses but this musk really is good this is a five and a half a lot of uh reviews from celebrities when i read the in style magazine a lot of them swear that this is the only thing that they use now i did read because you know i love to read uh comments where some people were saying that have wore this for 10 years 15 years 20 years that it has been, let me do this, it's been reformulated. So I wouldn't know because, hey, I'm just trying it for the first, well, it's not really the first time, but the first time like two months ago. So I wouldn't know what it was like 10 years ago, 20 years ago. But for me, as a person who's not a big musk person, this is good as well as I shared with you before, the uh, eccentric molecule of the three and the four awesome 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 okay that's all i can tell you you gotta get you some lush goddess i'm gonna tell you already this is a little bomb um you do this and you just kind of like put it on your wrist or whatever this one here uh is not the goddess that i was thinking about just keeping it real this will be a three to me i'm not big on the wood the oud um 
it's okay, but it's not when I you think of when I think about goddess, you know, I'm thinking about you know goddess. I was looking for just some a, a wow, you know, that wow factor, and it did not give me that one. The next one is called dirty, but it's not dirty, you guys. This is more uh, of a mint, so if you're into a mint, a green. And I know some people said, oh, it gives me that gargle fresh. Or I, I guess, you know, when you gargle, this is just right. I like it. I'm not that big on green, but I do like this dirty. It's more than what I was expecting. I would give dirty a four. For me, um, I'm more impressed with dirty than I am with goddess. Okay, so just let you know that. So moving on, of course, you know, check out my Demeter video. I think I did part one, two, three, four. I went crazy on Demeter. This is Blueberry. This is from Fragrance Net. And I've been eating, I've been getting these little small mini blueberry pies from at my local grocery store. And I just saw my, like, let me give me some blueberry fragrance. And it smells if you like blueberry, it smells blueberry. This is the meter uh, roll on, and I didn't know they had roll on perfume all by uh, the meter. This is a five. And that, again, that's if you like blueberry. Moving on, Dolce and Gabbana. This is the the red. Um, I guess it would be the red top if you had the big bomb. How good it is! It's a, just a powerful, uh, strong. Uh, I am woman sin. I'm in control. Maybe Janet Jackson wears it too. I don't know. Let's see. This smells good. I might, I might get me a big bottle. This one, you guys, I would give it a four and a half. This is Dolce & Gabbana. The, uh, I'm gonna call it the red top or the red bottle because that's Anique Gutel. Gutel, don't give me you guys. <laughs> G O U T A A. Chat Perchy. C H A T P E R C H. I'm not good with those French names. French and Italian names are not good. So this is a white floral. And I'm just going to. is good wow this one is a five you guys it's just not this this brand this lady's brand here this is a good brand as well yes this is a five i don't know what it is but it's something about that uh white floral i don't know what it is but this it gives me those michael kors vibes good okay moving on angel aqua chick now when i hear aqua i'm thinking about water the blue ocean the marine the whale sea salt okay so let's see This smells, this will be our office daytime fragrance. No, it's not out with your honey. It's not out with Big big Baller, uh, Big Papa. I would give Aqua um, Chick or Chic. I would give it a three. Yes, you guys. Normally, Alien or a Angel is normally a five to me. It's like always a five because I have a lot of it. This one, uh, I'm going to give it a three. Just, just letting you know. Angel Old Crocier, Cro oh, Crocher, I want to say Croissant. Yeah, that's what I want to say, you guys. Don't get me, okay? Don't get me. This is Sweet Fruity, uh, and it's Woody Fig. Okay. This one, just right, perfect. This will take you... Where? This will take you to date night. This is office. This is special occasions. It's a five. Again, it's all Crocier. Angel all Crocier. And it comes in a beautiful bottle. Uh, it must mysterious or mysterious. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Mysterious. 
This is also musky, vanilla, and it's spice. Oh my gosh. Do, I don't know if you can see how dark the juice. It looks like, I'm it looks like prune juice, grape juice. Wow. So he is powerful and strong, you guys. I would give uh, this one a four. Gutel, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I know you guys are gonna correct me. It's called La Che Vurafel. Honeysuckle, you guys, honeysuckle, okay? Okay, so this is a green white floral. It's light, and since it's my last one, the other ones I have will is for more like a house fragrance. This is good, romantic, not a heavy duty, a light. You can get away with this for the office. Uh, I would give this one. <laughs> I would give it a four, maybe a four minus. You guys, moving on to my last, and this is. A mixture. This is from a company called Era A E R A. Uh, this is a discovery set. I share with you with my previous videos. Uh, I believe it was four or four or five of them for twenty dollars. You can either spray it like this in the air, or just have a. It comes a, a diffuser. For me personally. I do like the diffuser machine, kind of like that little Lysol and you stick it in there. So this one right here is called Forest Therapy. And it just has a fresh, crisp green smell. And it would be best to get you a discovery set before you commit to getting one big one. Okay, the next one's called Distress Mind. And right now with all what's going on, we really do need a distress because the holiday day is just, it seems like it's a stressful time for a lot of people. This one smells good, it smells herbal. Okay, so that one is called Distress Mind. My next one's called Revive. So yes, we're gonna, be, we're gonna need to be revived, especially for y'all who are using your little credit cards and stuff buying shopping after the holidays and you see those credit cards come in, those statements, you don't need to be revived. Oh, wow, this one is good. It's kind of strong though. That's revive. I guess that's, you know, hey, you need to be revived. Okay, moving on. The next one is called Deep Relax. Deep Relax. This one is also, smells good. It's refreshing, kind of sweet. Uh, the next one here is Support Breathe. So this one is for breathing. A lot of people have trouble. I'm surprised, I didn't know so many people have trouble breathing uh, at night and also during, I thought maybe more like in the summer, but people have breathing problems during the uh the holidays in the winter months i didn't know okay so you guys i know you're going to give me some good comments on how do you have any of these fragrances? have you thought about buying them do you already have them what's the price point what is your price point when buying fragrances is there a certain limit or will you go or what fragrances you don't mind spending i don't know maybe in the hundreds the video that I'm going to share with you, it's not going to be a video, I'm going to just share it. It is just too funny. So again, this happened in England, uh, and I hate it, you know, women, especially when I see young girls fighting over men, fighting over men, you guys. I don't know. Uh, my mom always told us from the get-go, 
you don't fight over dudes, dudes fight over you. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't know if your mama told you that or, or you might be the type of chick that fight fight for your husband, fight, you know, your boyfriend, uh, you know, I don't know. So let me tell you what was so funny about this because this chick actually used a perfume bottle to beat up the other girl. And this is recently. This happened... Did it happen in October? It happened in October, but I thought it happened early in the summer. Okay, so woman 20 who hit her boyfriend's ex in the head with a stiletto-shaped Carolina Herrera perfume bottle at King Charles Model Village, Poundbury, a voice jail time. So this chick, Jessica Baker, 20, has avoided jail after she attacked her boyfriend's ex in a park. Baker hit Amelia Duckworth in the head with a, a stiletto shaped perfume bottle. Duckworth, the other chick, she needed stitches for a gash between her eyes and scalp uh, glued. Baker pleaded guilty to actual bodily harm and possession of offensive weapon. She has been sentenced to 12 months imprisonment suspended for two years. I don't think she would have got that if she was here um, in, um, United States or here in Texas, because make a long story short, uh, this chick didn't even get jail time. I don't know if the, uh, the police was uh, lenient on her because she has a child. She doesn't have a child with the dude. The dude is nice looking, he's a cute guy. He almost looked like a Ken Barbie doll type. So here the um, judge is saying something about um, if you commit an offense in the next two years, you will give me no choice but to send you to prison. Social media is a wonderful asset in society. There are some that say we do not adequately prepare your generation for its use. Learn to walk away. You don't have to read anything. You do not have to read everything. Don't come back. She's 20. I don't know how old the other, the, to me, the other girl uh, is is way cuter than she is. Uh, and she seems to be a little thicker, bigger girl. So I don't know uh, why, you know, she did that. I don't know why the other girl, why would you agree to meet another chick? I'm not agreeing to meet you. If you want to meet, let's let's meet at the police station. That's where that's where we're gonna meet. I want to wish you and your family a very safe, happy, healthy, beautiful, merry Christmas. And please give to others. And remember, it's not your birthday. It's not my birthday. It's his birthday. Again, stay blessed, happy, and healthy. Thank you.